So let's take a look at this first play on the drive. It's uh, first and 10 from the 20-yard line. And again, spacing is the theme. So just look at the spacing, and we'll stop it and show and whatnot. But wonderful, wonderfully called drive, wonderfully executed by the 11 guys out on the field. Let's get into it. Got a little stack stack formation at the top with traditional, you know, it's two by two, but it's stacked at the top and it's traditional at the bottom. And you get like a, the shell is a cover two shell, so it could be cover four, it could be cover two, unless they decide to roll into something. But just pre-snap is looking like cover four or cover two. But the way the linebacker is tucked in, I'm going to say some kind of cover four. All right, we bring a guy in the box, they add a guy to the box, which normally happens in football. When you bring an extra guy in, the defense normally brings an extra guy in to help with the run fit. Now, at this point, you know, as, as a quarterback, I'm thinking, Cover four. Thinking cover four. So the 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 open part of cover four is the flats. And you know, normally in cover four, you got, you know, combinations with the, the deep safeties depending on the routes. And then you have linebackers that cover the flats. So in this case, this guy would be responsible for this flats. He'd be responsible for the middle. And then this blitzer would be responsible for this flats. But he's blitzing. So nobody's in either flats. And as you can see, Piddle's going to the flat. I don't know who this receiver is going to the flat. But neither one of them, you know, they pretty much open. But in cover four, that's the kind of the weak spot, the flats. And you see Josh Johnson just gets it out there. But look at the spacing. Look at the spacing. Look at the receivers. Remember in years past, we would have receivers all on top of each other? Look look at the spacing between all four guys that are in the wraps. Nobody's on top of each other. The quarterback can have clearly defined reads. Uh, he can obviously tell if someone's open or whatnot. Look at Tyler Wallace under the number three. If he wanted to throw that curl route, Wallace would have been open. Uh, Treadwell at number two. Now, he may not have been open because people up under him, but still, the spacing helps the quarterback identify people that are open and can make you know good decisions, then make good throws. The spacing is, is huge, 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 huge not to have four or five people in the same area. And when I say people, I mean offensively and defensively, not four or five people on the same team. Let's go to the second play of the drive. So obviously that play got us to the um, 39. So it's first and 10 again. You got a cover three-ish look. But again, again, look at the spacing. Look, you got five guys in a route. Nobody's on top of each other. Nobody's on top of each other. And they're in a the cover three, you know, look. And, again, different rules. Nobody plays country th cover three again, but it's different rules based off who's in your zone and whatnot. But it's still cover three. And you got your underneath defenders, and they're covering the, they're covering one, three, and five. And you got your over-the-top defenders that have to deal with two and four. But because you got people underneath, you got a window behind them. Look at that window behind the, the underneath coverage. And you see it right here. You got a decent pocket. And I think that's uh, um, Tylen Wallace that's going to come into that circle, make a great catch. But look at the spacing. Let me take you back. Look at the spacing. Nobody's on top of each other. Nobody's on top of each other. And because of that spacing, there's an open window. There's an open window. And Josh Johnson hits Tylen Wallace in that open window. It's all because of spacing. We're not used to seeing spacing out of our concepts. Lamar's not used to seeing, and I can't wait to see Lamar in a real game get these opportunities. I, I'm, I'm so anxious to see him have the open field. And even if he don't complete it, when he, you know, if these guys are covered, for him to break out and not have six guys staring at it, but he can make maybe make one or two guys miss and get out of bounds or crib it. But just to see him be able to throw with open lanes and be able to make good decisions, and then put the ball where they need to be without six or seven people in the same area. You got a little play fake, and it sucked the linebackers up, Pauls. Got the linebackers to come up. Now you're going to get a little scissors action. And you look, Josh Johnson is reading that corner right there. So if he goes out, you throw the skinny post. If he, if he for some reason, goes out, you throw that skinny post. 
If he runs with the post, you can throw the little scissors concept to Proche. He runs with the post, so now you know you got the list, uh, scissors route to Proche, which is a corner. Beautiful throw by Josh Johnson. Beautiful throw by Josh Johnson. Way to drop it in the bucket. Way to drop it in the bucket. Good catch by Proche. But a concept. Do my fact. Remember the theme, spacing. So they look like they're on top of each other right now, but it's for a reason. They high low on the guy. And again, so you got this going in that direction. You got this going deep. And if they cover all that, you got Treadwell coming underneath it. Look at that. So now the quarterback's eyes don't really have to leave this area. That's good spacing still. The quarterback eyes don't have to leave that area if the protection holds. That's good spacing. So say the protection don't hold and say they cover all it. Look at all this space that he would have to run. Look at look at all this. If he had if he needed to run. Let me make this big. I hit the wrong thing anyway. Hold on. If he needed to run, look at all this space he got. All that. If he needs to run. He could easily get that first down. Easily. But spacing. Let's go to let's show the last one, which is the touchdown. Now. It's one of my favorite plays, and I've been talking about it, talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. Three-man snag. I'm going to show you what three-man snag looks like originally. All right, this is three-man snag. Treadwell motioned in. They're going to read that linebacker that's in the red and black circle, and as he goes out, Treadwell will kind of settle right where he came from. Ball should be thrown to Treadwell because the linebacker is probably going to chase that running back going to the flats. Uh, that, the tight end, it could be a curl route. It could be a corner route. It depends on how they tag it. Normally, I run a corner to kind of have a man beater in that. But in this case, they ran a curl. Now, remember we talked about Todd Munkin putting plays on top of plays and building on top of plays? We finally see a build on top of this. Now, I used to call it jerk. I don't know what they called it. But what, what what's going to happen is, because this is snagging, let, let me flash, fast forward to the, get to the jerk part. So you still get, well, let me back up. You can run jerk because you have split safeties now. You see those two safeties back there now? With the middle of the field being open, you can add the jerk to it because of that. If it was one safety still in the middle of the field, you can't run jerk. But with them having two high safeties, you can run jerk now, and I'm going to show it to you. All right, so you see the little black dots. He's going to come in there like he's still running snag. He's going to settle and go. But in this case, he ran into a little traffic running into the linebackers. So he forgot he didn't have to settle. Because the timer was thrown off, he just kind of went in there and kind of touched it with the linebackers a little bit and then just shot them in the middle of the field because he wasn't able to settle first. So watch Trey well. Because he's supposed to settle in there with them two linebackers there, but he can't because it's contact. Because the linebacker that he's making contact with is really trying to get there. And so David is going to see that, and David's eyes are going to look that way, and Trey are going to scoot right behind him into that open spot right there. And there's the touchdown you see. And it's the jerk part of it. Because it still looks like three-man snag. And David thinks he's going to settle right there, but he not. He's just going to keep going right past him. Because they've ran, we've ran snag so much in the preseason, which is I like because I like snag. It's one of my favorite concepts. See, how see David thinking it's going to be snag. He settles right there waiting on it. Thinking he got an interception, Treadwell just keeps going. That's what... Roman was not doing. Roman was not building plays on top of plays. And now we got the the the, the exclamation point to snag with jerk. And that's what I love about Todd Monkey. You're going to get wrinkle on top of wrinkle on top of wrinkle on top of wrinkle. And I can't wait for it to come out um, in, what, two weeks now? Two weeks from today. So we'll see more wrinkles coming out because I'm sure we've only seen the, the very top of the playbook. Uh, we haven't seen the starters at all. Uh, preseason game two, we saw two offensive starters. That was Simpson and Zay Flowers. Uh, preseason game three, we saw none. So I'm ex so excited to see all these pieces come together and what how Lamar is going to orchestrate all this. I can't wait to see Lamar come out of the huddle, get to the line, recognize a play that's not going to work, change it into something that does work. Just that one little nuanced part of the game, I can't wait to see that happen one time and then work and go from there. I'm going to be so excited to to hear him audible to something else and it worked. 
I just this that little part of the game I can't wait to see. But I appreciate you guys for coming through. Um, like the video if you like what you saw. If you have not subscribed, please consider do so and hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of this content drops throughout the 2023 season. Um, I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And remember, it's film, then more film because the eye in the sky don't lie. Unlike others, and I'm out. Peace.